Hey guys, Valeria Kushner here from DabbleLab at DabbleLab.com. Uh, today we're talking about using UI kits that we've previously covered. Uh, we talked about a couple of uh, best places to find it, uh, how to use them, which software to use them with, and why to use them. So just to reiterate, to reiterate uh, the reason why we think UI kits are very powerful is that we're trying to save money at the beginning stages. We're trying to prototype our idea without spending too much time and funds on it. And uh, UI kits provide us a solution where a professional designer went ahead and decided, decide, designed a bunch of these screens for us, uh, different functionality, different examples that we can use for our prototypes. And uh, it's free. Uh, you can pay for some, but uh, the one we're using here right now is called Do by Envision App. And it is free and available for download from their website. And it is also available for Sketch and is also available for Photoshop. So. Uh, over here, I have a second window of our Sketch app, and uh, I added a couple of artboards just to show you the screens that uh, we will try to replicate. So we have our prototype here that's you know very ugly, very Instagram looking like, not very original. Uh, that that is okay. We're you know we're treating this as a brand new idea that no one has ever seen before. So maybe you're not quite sure on how to use the colors. Uh, you're not sure what colors go with which. Um, and uh, you you just kind of like okay, well I drew these boxes, but I don't know how to make it look pretty. So the UI kits are perfect for that. Uh, so we'll start with one. Um, for example, we need that top bar over here. Uh, we'll go and let's say, maybe we'll take one of these screens, like for example, timeline here. And something I wanna show you that sometimes on these kits, uh, if I copy this and I paste it in here, you don't see that purple color in the background. You might be wondering why. Well, sometimes it depends on the UI kit that background might be a separate button. So if I turn off this, you will see that rectangle. So I'll copy this as well, and I will paste it in the same place. Paste, and then we'll reorder this so we can see the text. And there's, you know, there's the top. Maybe we want to change this text, and we'll type uh, Instagram. And uh, we don't need the hamburger menu because our menu is at the bottom. So we'll delete this, and we'll delete this photo. Then I will go back here, and I will uh, maybe grab a, a bottom bar somewhere navigation. Uh, I saw there was a great uh, navigation bar similar to what we're trying to do. So one right here. Uh, I will once again. That's could be the background. Uh, down there, tab bar. Okay, that's actually all together. So we'll click Command C, and we'll paste it here at the bottom. And there it is. And the background did not go. I think this is the background. Okay. So, yeah. So here's our tap bar here. We'll look at this. Where's our background here? And it looks like it's a fill. So maybe let's change it to a different color. There we go. So now we can see it. Uh, maybe we, you know, we don't like that red, the red dot there, but obviously. So let's zoom in and we'll delete that. Okay, so now we have kind of our navigation. You know, we'll focus on the icons later. Uh, we'll go back and maybe we'll grab um, a photo to use there or we will, um, we need to do like a user profile photo. So like we'll click this and we'll paste it here. We'll make it smaller so it doesn't look as big. And uh, boom, there it is. And then we'll grab, for example, a this gentleman's name and we'll paste it here as well. And let's change the color. And then maybe we'll make it 36 instead. And here it is. And let me zoom in this case a little bit to easy to align it easier. Right there, there it is, nice and pretty. Now we just need a photo to use. And uh, let's see if they have a square photo here that we can kind of borrow. Um, so let's say, let's say we open this tab number two here, and they have a background, and they have the actual image. So we'll take just the image, Command C again. And then we'll click over here. And all I'm doing is, you know, on this side it's layers and I'm just selecting the elements that I need. And the easy way to check what element you need is to use this eye icon is once you enable or disable it, the image will either appear or disappear. So we'll take this and we'll make it square, obviously, because we need it square for Instagram. We'll put it here and now we need uh, his name and uh, photo again. And I do option, click and drag and we can replicate this. And if I hold, hold shift, we can make it smaller to where it doesn't lose its, actually it did. So maybe let's, let's just make this into 50 by 50 and we'll change the name to 24. 
There it is, and we'll align this as well. And let's say, sometimes the text might be two lines or a little bit taller, and sometimes it might be a little bit tougher to align it. But overall, there should be no issue. So there, there's how we fix it. Uh, click this again, align it. Now it's nice and pretty. Maybe we'll move it up here. Maybe we'll make the text a little bit closer using our arrows on the keyboard. Now we just need a dummy text here to replicate the first screen and we're good to go. Um, I don't see any text here, but you know you can type something up obviously. It's as easy as clicking T, dragging the area, and then all you have to focus on is just uh, are we going to use the same font that's used here, which is Avenir, or are we going to use a different one? And it uh, usually selects the last text that was used for you. So this looks a lot better than we had than our mock-up. Uh, you know, we know where to download the icons if we don't like these. We know how to use them. We know how to change our colors. So if I double click, double click on the background here, uh, I can select a different color that maybe matches us more. So for example, if we want to match the bottom menu, and let's say we want this circle to be, if I, do, if I double click on elements, it usually brings me uh, to it. And maybe we want this element to be red, for example, or more peach kind of color. Um, that is pretty much it, folks. Uh, it's pretty simple. I think the once you have the raw prototype, raw mockup done for you, you will be uh, a lot quicker at actually finding these elements and putting them all together. It's almost it almost becomes like a puzzle, except you have a solution right here, and all you have to do is just f uh, give it some color. If you guys have any questions, please let us know, and we'll uh, talk to you soon.